Hi, I'm Drew with Garage Gurus, and I have a tech tip here today uh, using a five gas analyzer. So I wanna say thanks to Anset and Kane for uh, letting me use this five gas analyzer. It's pretty cool, pretty easy and compact, but I had this vehicle, it's a 2015 Chevy Silverado. Uh, you might've seen it in some of our other videos, but it had like the perfect scenario uh, where it, it proves that having this tool uh, in your, your toolbox is just that extra little arsenal that, that's gonna help you diagnose a vehicle properly and help you avoid those, those costly comebacks. So um, let's go ahead and, and unpack this tool and hook it up. First thing we need to do um, is fire this up. It needs to go through a calibration process. It takes about a minute and a half uh, before it's ready. And then we have the, uh, the probe that we need to stick into the tailpipe. Remember when we're, when we're using these five gas or gas benches, the vehicle needs to be uh, warm. Uh, you can take the readings at idle or under a load. We're gonna take ours at idle. And then you wanna make sure that we've gone through the calibration, all right? So let's go ahead and walk through this. First thing I wanna do is I'm gonna stick the probe into the tailpipe. And then I'm gonna hook the probe up to the water separator on the tool. Now, you can use the readings on the tool directly, or we can Bluetooth it to our laptop and we can look at the Kane uh, software, live software that we have, which we have downloaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this, uh, pull this up. I'm gonna freeze frame it right here uh, so, you, so everybody can see it, so we can talk to it. So this is a 2015 Chevy Silverado with a 5.3 engine. It had a four point, uh, excuse me, it had a 430 uh, bank two catalyst efficiency code. That's the only code. Other than that, the vehicle runs well. There's no misfires. It idles very smoothly. Um, it's, it's in good shape. We pulled the catalytic converter down and we noticed that it was melted internally. So I said, you know what? This is gonna be one of those, those uh, moments where my OCD is kicking in and I need to take another step besides I diagnose the cat's bad. Oh, it's just a bad converter. Uh, so we went ahead and hooked up the five gas and these are the readings that we got. So when we're looking at these readings that are on the screen right now, um, you know, there's a few that stand out, all right? Our O2 and our CO, you know, normally those should mimic each other, um, be very close to identical, and they should be under about a half a percent. Then when we're looking at our hydrocarbons, um, at idle, you probably want to see about 50, give or take, maybe a little bit less. If you're doing this under a load at about like 2,500 RPMs, uh, then you would probably see more like 125, but we're at idle and we've got 304 uh, parts per million of hydrocarbons right now. And then your CO2 is off as well, but that's kind of the, the, the gas, you know, reading taken from all of these others. So looking at these right now, these readings that we have, the CO, the O2, the CO2, the hydrocarbons, right? I know I've got an issue and I probably have some sort of weak ignition. Uh, maybe it's a spark plug, you know, maybe it, they're worn out. I need to check it out because if I send this vehicle right now with this customer, they're gonna come back with another cat problem. My name's Drew Jablonowski with Garage Gurus. Uh, follow us on YouTube for more tech tips or check us out on garagegurus.tech. Till next time.